In Windows 7, the best option for downloading pictures from an iPad is to use the photo gallery. When you plug an iPad in, a Windows 7 machine treats the iPad just like any other digital camera. You can see that Windows is installing the driver and on the iPad right now, there's probably a little window that's asking you want the iPad to trust this computer. Tap trust. When this window pops up, if you check always do the same for this device, you won't ever see this window again. Select import using photo gallery. The other way to find photo gallery is to go to, it used to be the start button, now it's the circle windows button there. And in the programs, find photo gallery. If this window pops up asking if you want to use Photo Gallery to open these, I would click yes. When the iPad has finished loading, it will show up there in the left pane, which are the devices and locations. This lets you select individual pictures or groups of pictures, or the bottom lets you select all the images and videos that are on the iPad. I'm going to select the top one so I can pick and choose. So now they're in here grouped by date. So I can expand it. I can look at what they are. Here is a select all, which by default is selected. If I check it, it will deselect all. Then I can go in and select individual groups or individual pictures. I can add a title to these groups and those titles will become folders. Checking the check mark for a group selects all of the images in the group. So make sure that all of the images that you want have the check mark next to them. Name any of the groups that you want and then select import. The little check box in this window is important. If you check that, it will delete the photos from the iPad after they're imported. This saves a lot of time deleting them. From the iPad later and unless you are going to use them for something on the iPad you generally don't need them there anymore. This also helps with storage. I see many people run out of storage because they have 800 pictures on their iPad. So the folders that are created or the pictures go into the my pictures and then any folder that you created when you downloaded them. So that's how you get photos and movies off of an iPad to your computer.